Hello, I'm Henry Hall, and you're watching Ken Boxer Live on TVSB. Cool. <laughs> Terry Lockham Milton proudly presents Ken Boxer Live. From the American Riviera in Santa Barbara, California, it's Ken Boxer Live, Santa Barbara's one and only entertainment talk show. Let's welcome the host of the show, Ken Boxer. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Great job. Oh, thank you. Very, thank you. So much. It's very nice of you all. Thank you. Thank you so very much, and welcome. I'm Ken Boxer, and this is Ken Boxer Live. And as I always do, I'd like to introduce you to my co-host, the very talented Kate Imperio, everybody. <laughs> Kate, Kate, Kate. Viva la fiesta. It's over, Viva buddy. Viva la fiesta. How was your fiesta? Uh, my fiesta was uneventful. My iguana <laughs> was afraid of the horses, and the horses were afraid of the iguana, so it was kind of hard to go around town. <laughs> How about you? So uh, I just, you know, I took my uh, five-year-old daughter to all the things. You know, went to um, uh, was it children the children's parade, and went to uh, the carnival. She loved it. There's never enough confetti, right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So tell us, who is on the show? This is a very exciting show. Oh, this is a very, very exciting show. We have up-and-coming singer-songwriter Henry Hall, whose parents happen to be Brad Hall and Julia Louis-Dreyfus. So we have an amazingly talented man with amazingly talented parents. So you're going to want to stick around. He's playing some tunes. We're going to rock and roll. Ken Boxer Live is brought to you by the following sponsors. Palazzo Italian Restaurant, where people don't leave their hungry or thirsty. Harbor View Inn, welcome to Santa Barbara's premier four diamond luxury boutique oceanfront hotel. The Eagle Inn, a family owned hotel near the beach in Santa Barbara. And now back to our show. tonight is a singer and songwriter who is currently making his mark in the music industry. Tonight our guest is a very talented Henry Hall. Already having several music videos and singles available, Henry has been entertaining his fans with, incredible, with his incredible falsetto voice and striking lyrics. So let's now welcome, making his very first appearance on our show, the amazing Henry Hall, everybody. Let's give it up. Thank you. How are Thank you? you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. What a uh, crowd here today. See yeah. you. It's all too big. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. Happy to be here. Very happy to be here. You know, Santa Barbara, you're very familiar with this city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am familiar with this city. Uh, I, uh, I, don't, I don't say that I'm from here, but a lot. my family's from here. I grew up in L.A., though and uh, would come here as much as humanly possible because it's so ugly and gross <laughs> here. You know? So I wanted some, wanted some grit, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, love, I absolutely love Santa yeah, Barbara. It's the a great greatest. sense of humor. Hey. I like that. I wonder where you got where that Where did that from? come from? Really? Uh, Ed McMahon, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he taught me for you. <laughs> I, oh, uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I actually have been watching a lot of old Carson clips and stuff, so I hope hopefully I can like break out a couple Rodney Dangerfield bits for you guys. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, I was just thinking ahead of time that you know we have such you know so many uh, the talent in this room tonight, the comedy talent in this room is so large. If something were ever to happen in the studio and no one came out alive. I think Chevy Chase would be number one again. Well, yeah, Carrot Top. Carrot Top will be back on top. Yeah, yeah, finally again. So tell us about how did this, the music come about? Where did, um, that, where did that start? Yeah, um, well, I grew up uh, just listening to music constantly. My dad is a massive Beatles fan, um, one, of the, one of, you know, 
few Beatles fans. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um, he, uh, he ex you know, he kind of exposed me to all the music that I uh, listened to. Uh, showed me Simon and Garfunkel early on and uh, uh, the Smiths and stuff. Uh -huh. And, yeah. uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, it made me sad, which kind of felt good. So then I was like, yeah, this is, I, I like listening to this kind of music. So I, I don't know, I, I just gravitated towards music. I think that there's, um, I, think, I think it's the most uh, direct expression of uh, the human experience, you know, because there's no, or well, depending on what the act is. Mm -hmm. um, the, this isn't always true, I guess, but the, you know, I, I think that uh, it, it's, it, you, you're able to really bear it all as a musician, you know, because it's sort of this intangible thing that you're creating, which well, is music. Is it easy for you to write the lyrics and the melody? Yeah, yeah, or, well, yeah. Yeah, it's really easy. Uh, <laughs> I've you done that before. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm trying um, to be serious in this. Not yeah, no, 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 no. Like, I mean, uh, I mean, I have, I've, yeah. I've seen Leonard Cohen uh -huh. uh, mention that his lyrics, it's like a slow, dripping faucet. Right, takes a right. a long time. What about for you? Yeah, I mean, he, he, yeah, Leonard Cohen, I guess, is sort of the ultimate example of someone who, you know, it's painstaking, it takes months and months and months to write, like, one lyric, which I think is awesome. Um, for me, you know, I don't know, it, it varies. Um, you know, sometimes I'll have a song that's in the works for, you know, a week, and then I kind of forget about it, and then a year later I pick it up again because um, it, you know, ha it has some resonance with what's going on in my life for whatever reason. Um, but I would say for the most part, the songs that I like the most of my of mine, I write quickly, um, and uh, I definitely, uh, or well, actually, an artist that I really look up to named Frank Ocean once said that melody should come easily because that's the most sort of natural thing, and if it's if you have to work and work at a melody, it's not right. Um, but lyrics can take a little longer because uh, for whatever reason. And, and I, I think that that's true. So that, that's kind of, that's true with me. I, I think that I normally, it's like chords, like guitar part, melody, and then lyrics. Rarely ever am I like, oh, you know, the green, oh yeah, the green dogs <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> and uh, you know, and then uh, I, uh, and then that like becomes a song. Um, but, you know, I, in other words, like I, I, it's rare for me to think of a lyric and then th th have that, uh, have a song grow out of that. It's it's more more often um, musical elements. Well, yeah. let's let's yeah. hear some of your yeah. work. I wish I had a guitar. Oh, oh. <laughs> it just happens to be here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's get. We can get the mic over to you. Because we don't believe that oh, nice. you can actually play. <laughs> right, right, right. Prove it. All this talk. Yes. Prove it. But uh, what are we going to hear? This first song. Right, uh, this first song is a song that's out now on Spotify and stuff. Um, it's called Dream Lover, uh, kind of bearing the lead here, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's about um, being uh, in love with my ex-girlfriend's sister. Okay. A problem, y'all. Yeah. All right. Okay, it goes like this. All right. <clears throat> you take a look at my ass. Does it seem like I'm anything but happy? Because I'm not. When I'm home, I pretend that I'm not napping. When I am, what is that, baby? Did I mention that I'm in love with my girlfriend's sister dream lover dream lover dream lover dream lover I didn't go out baby go outdoors you know it on Memorial Day weekend I st stayed inside and went online it's not a part of Drake's weekend upon a line it sure is Oh, and did I mention that I'm in love 
with my girlfriend's sister Dream about dream lover My girlfriend's sister Dream about dream lover uh, Dream lover, dream lover She is dream lover, baby And I really want to fall in love And I really want to have it And I really want to do both oh. uh. Uh. Dream Girlfriend, sister. No. No? no. Okay. No. That was my first question. Second question is your voice. Where'd that it's falsetto amazing. come from? My God, those pipes. Oh, yeah, amazing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it just feels natural for me to sing that way. Wait, so. does your father have those set of pipes too? He, he, uh, he, he does. He has a crazy yeah. falsetto too. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right. Well, yeah. It reminds me of just back in the day, the choir boys, you know, wanted, wanted to keep that high voice That's during exactly puberty. That's exactly right. That's exactly so. right. I never hit puberty. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. It's all coming together. Right. Forgot. Yeah. You yeah. know, I had read an article that um, uh, when you're writing, there's mm -hmm. a metaphor that you yeah. always think in the back of your mind as you write. Can you share, share sure. that with us? Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, so I went to film school for in college, and um, uh, a professor of mine um, had this great uh, metaphor and lesson that he shared with us that I really subscribe to, which is you should think about uh, film as a piece of taffy uh, that's taut, and there should never be a sagging like uh, section of the taffy. Uh, in other words, it should all, you know, uh, hold together. Um, and there should never be a moment where you're feeling like that, you know? <laughs> and I think that that, I, I, I think that that's very applicable to music. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I try to, uh, you know, man manifest that idea in my tunes. Um, so my songs are short. For the most part, um, you know, I don't like to waste any time in the music. But, but your yeah. music has a sense of humor to them as well. Not just this yeah. song, but many of the, the songs I've heard. Yeah, I think that that's an important thing. It's an, uh, maybe sort of unusual. Um, I want <clears throat> people to, you know, uh, not, not laugh necessarily, uh, but... They're going to laugh uh, when they hear that title. Right, yes. right, right. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's more of a um, I don't know. It's kind of it's it's uh, it's it, there. There's like a sarcastic element to it, you know, or like a, a uh, sort of funny cynicism thing, wit thing going. I'm not like I I I'm, I don't necessarily want to make jokes during the song. You know what I mean? I'm not like having a yeah. You know, I don't have a setup and a punchline. Um, <laughs> but when you're writing but, it, are you are you laughing as you're writing this? Mm, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I don't mean to say that, like, you know, you can't, if you think the take a look at my ass lyric is funny, that you can't, you have to be like, huh, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can laugh at, you know, at any, any reaction is, is good. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I don't, like, there's, a, there's this Morrissey lyric that goes, um, he says, 
when I'm lying in my bed, I think about life and I think about death, and neither one particularly appeals to me. <laughs> and I think that is the fun, it's just the most brilliant line. It's one of my favorite lyrics of all time. So whatever sentiment that is, I try to, you know, uh, extract and bring it to my own. Music. Well, will you delight us with another song? Sure, I'd love to. What are yeah. we going to hear? Uh, <clears throat> this is a new one that's not, that has not been released yet. Um, and uh, it's called Missing Out on Purpose. Sounds about right. Yeah, and it's just about <laughs> basically not wanting to hang out with anyone. I love it. <laughs> it's written in the grass. It may pass, it's written in my head. Oh. Home again, I say that I'm going right to bed But I am not, that's just right I'm hanging with my friend His name is Ben, I'm hanging with my friend Home with Ben, I say it's been too long But it has not, it's just right Missing out on purpose Missing out on purpose Missing out on purpose Ooh. What do I have to do? Home with you, what do I have to say? Here today again I told you I would hang out but I didn't hang out, out. because I'm missing out on purpose missing out on purpose I should be going out hanging out trying out being out Seeing out, making out, making out, and making out But instead I'm in bed doing nothing else I'm going to need some more water, yeah. I like to drink water. <laughs> Get this not, man some yeah. water. So when not you're, vodka. Yeah. In, when you were in school, mm -hmm. um, were you doing acting back then? You said you, you went to film school to act. Yeah. Um, I did, well, not, I didn't take any classes or anything like that, um, but I acted in my own, I, I acted in and, and uh, directed and wrote and all that my own, my thesis. Um, which was pretty much my first experience acting. Um, and uh, I, I liked it. Uh, it's harder than you would think, you know? Um, well, speaking I, of what, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead. Is this easy for you? 
what uh, you do? Yeah. I mean, is this now easy? No, no. I mean, I no, I, I don't want to. Uh, you know, it's not easy. Like, it's definitely you have to put in work. That that's also another thing that I really love about music is uh, there's such an element of um, craft to it. Uh, not like the brand but with a C. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, to yeah, yeah, just to clarify, <laughs> you guys are thinking about mac and cheese. And, um, <laughs> no, no, sorry. But, yeah, I, I, there's, I think that, um, you know, I grew up playing sports and being active and stuff my whole life. And that's, and, and, and actually skateboarding and surfing a lot. And there's a, there's a real, grind, like a work, ethic that you have to have in sport that I think you also have to have to a degree with music, with, with an instrument anyways. Um, so I really had to, so I, I love to practice and like um, pra practice playing guitar and, and um, singing. Well, the and show's and going your yeah. music oh. videos too, you get yeah. to kind of act. Yeah, yeah, to a degree. I mean, um, uh, I, I love doing those. That's so much fun to do. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, 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 I totally, I, I, I like acting for sure. I mean, I, uh, I made a short recently with a couple friends, uh, which was really fun. And uh, I star in it and that'll come out soon. So well, people uh, who can knows? People watch maybe. your videos on YouTube. Yes, They're they there. can. Yes, they can. <laughs> it's Where HTTP are you at? colon <laughs> Go ahead. backslash backslash. Uh, we'll write it in. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, no, I, I have all my music videos and stuff are up on YouTube. If you just type like Henry Hall, um, a lot come up. music yes. is a thing. Well, I yeah. want to hear more because we, we, we don't have a lot of time and I want to get another song Oh my God, that went in. so quickly. I, no, we're um, not done yet. I want to hear another song. Hey, we just got okay. a few okay. minutes, okay? All right, all right. Don't we want to hear another song, everybody? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, the audience. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, for any music people, this is, I'm using a D6 tuning. D6. Okay. Uh, I'm so glad to know that. Uh, yeah. Um, all right, so this song is about uh, going to school on the East Coast and wanting to transfer to UCSB. So here we go. Get me close to what you want. Is that weird enough for you? Hit my head with something blind. Oh, weird enough for you. And I wanted to start over. Begin my life anew. Closer to the ocean, baby. What a brand new school. Oh, 
closer to the ocean. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Really school, 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 school. and right. I wanted to transfer to UCSB, and I did. So that's oh. pretty crazy right <laughs> Good. there. Well, you took it one step further than I did. Did you not get to UCSB? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I stayed. <laughs> yeah, I dreamed. Stayed in Middletown, Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever have any formal training, singing and or music? Uh, guitar, yeah, but singing, no. Um, uh, yeah. Um, I took guitar lessons, like, my whole life and played. <clears throat> I play like, a lot of jazz and stuff, too. Um, we, I kind of need like accompaniment to do that stuff, yeah. but but uh, um, yeah, I mean that definitely all of my jazz training and um, that I did in you know growing up definitely informed the chords I use and um, uh, just some of the melodic choices that I make, I guess. Uh, Have you always had that voice, that falsetto? Yeah. Uh huh. Pretty much, really? I think, wow. yeah, from what I can remember. I kind of, you know, I when I was l little, I sang, and then I, you know, grew up a bit, and I was, and I still wanted to sing the same way that I did when I was very young, so I just kind of did. You know what I mean? I don't know. No puberty. Yeah, right, again, get, getting back to that, the no puberty thing. Uh, <laughs> And uh, no, but uh, yeah, so I don't know. I, I just. Um, Are you working on anything right now? Um, yeah. Well, you, I'm, you kind of alluded to it, I guess, earlier. Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, so I've got a new single coming out in two, a week from Friday on the 17th of August. Awesome. Um, or I, I think, I hope that that's the right day. Someday Whatever. This month. Yeah, a Friday this <laughs> month. And um, called Kid, uh, which is. I, I, produced this one myself and um, recorded it and all that. So it's just me, which is an interesting experience. We're going to look forward to it. Yeah, cool. Thank you, thank so you so very much, much for thank being you. here. Everybody, Henry Hall. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. You're, thank you. Thank you're thank pretty you. amazing. Thank you. And that's our show for tonight. That's our show for tonight. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for some upcoming shows. We have Upcoming, well, thank you. Linda Blair is going to be on our show, and also international fashion designer Kayla Methvin is also going to be with us. Two shows you will not want to miss. So, for our guest Henry Hall, and for Kate Imperio, and my director Nick Ferretti, and the entire KBL crew, I'm Ken Boxer. Good night, everybody, and thank you so very much. Thank you. Ken Boxing Live is brought to you by the following sponsors. Terry Riken, your broker with a personal touch for all your real estate needs. Bank on Better, American Riviera Bank with three locations to serve you. Palazzo Restaurant, where people don't leave hungry or thirsty. Harbor View Inn. Santa Barbara's premier four diamond luxury boutique oceanfront hotel. The Eagle Inn, a family-owned hotel near the beach in Santa Barbara. And by Petrini's Family Restaurant, La Quinta Inn and Suites, Taffy's Pizza, Country Catering, Meat Market and Deli, Lido's Takeout, Jack's Bagels and Bistro, Ken Boxer Live musical theme composed and arranged by Mr. Michael J. Leslie. at Ken Boxer Live. I'm Baron Ron Heron. Good night, everyone.